Welcome back to the black and white conversion tutorial part three. In this case, we're going to get into something a bit more complex. We're going to start with something called the channel mixer, where we actually get into the red, green, and blue channels, look at them as black and white images, and mix them together to create the black and white image that we visualize. Now, when we start looking at channels, it's not anything to be afraid of. It's just another uh, facet of Photoshop that we have here. We have a, a channels palette. It's uh, usually docked with the layers palette. And here we can see we can look at the red, green, and blue channels of uh, colors, where we're only looking, in this case, at the blues and the greens and the reds. And we're looking at these as black and white images so that the red, rather than going from white to 100% red as it, uh, as, it, as it really does, we're looking at it as if it were a black and white image. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back and uh, get back to our color image now. We're going to go to our layers palette. And there's several ways of doing this. The destructive way of doing it, which we're not going to be doing, is to go up to the image menu, go to adjustments, and come down here to the channel mixer. We don't want to do that. We want to work non-destructively. So that what we're going to do here is we're going to go in, we can go to the layer palette and create a new adjustment layer with our channel mixer. Or the way I prefer to do it, we come down here to our adjustment layer icon and just select channel mixer and we get our channel mixer dialog. Now, when you look at this dialog, you can see that we have output channels that are red, green, and blue. But what we want to do is we want to work with this as a grayscale image. So what we're going to do is we're going to come down here and check the monochrome. And all of a sudden, we have our source channels listed as red, green, and blue. When we first bring it up, the red channel is at 100%. Now this brings us to a very important point. Uh, we normally want to make the total of the red plus the green plus the blue channels all equate to 100%. Now, of course, you can change that if you want uh, to be creative, but for now, let's keep that at 100%. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our red channel and let's move that down to, say, 40%. 40%. And let's take our green channel and move that up to 54%. And now we bring the blue and we can bring that up to 6% so that we have a total of 40, 54, and 6, which gives us 100%. And here we have a nice grayscale image. Now we can change that and change the relationship between the red, green, and blue. We can cut the reds back a little bit. And when we do that, we either want to increase the green and or increase the blue. So now we come up here. So we have uh, 32 and 54 is uh, 86 and 14 is 100%. So that we can go in now and we can say OK. And we have mixed our channels. We can see here that now the red, green, and blue are different densities. And we can change this if we want. If we want to make the reds lighter, we can do that. If we want to make the greens darker, we can do that. If we want to make the blues lighter, we can do that. And since we're working non-destructively, we can go back in. We can double-click the icon here, and we can change that. Let's make our reds a little bit lighter. Let's bring the reds up to 50% and bring the greens down to 30, say 36%. And we'll leave the blues at 14%. And now you can see up here that the reds are a little lighter than the greens. And the blues are still there. And if we like that, we just say, OK, I like that the way it is, and I can save it. Now, let's save this out as convert 3. And then I want to show you something else. I'm going to put that in the black and white folder. 
And note, we're staying here as an RGB image. And we can get back to our original image by simply unclicking the visibility of the adjustment layer, or we can just go in and trash that adjustment layer. Now, Adobe has done a very nice thing for us. They've made this automatic so that we really don't have to think too much about what we want to do. We can go in uh, and look at the Actions palette. And in the default actions, we can come down here and we can highlight custom RGB to grayscale. And basically what that does is that is an automatic way of introducing the channel mixer. Now if we go and click on the play arrow here, all of a sudden we get our channel mixer box. We've already gone to monochrome and the blue, green, and red are set to what someone at Adobe thought would be uh, a good mix for a black and white image. You may like this, you may not like this. And if you want to change it, you can just make this a little lighter, bring this a little darker, and we're sticking still at 100% here, and you say OK, and I'm there. But wait, look what happened. All of a sudden, this is no longer an RGB image. This is a grayscale image. So we cannot get back in if we decide, oh, you know something? I want my greens a little bit lighter. You're going to have to start all over again, all the way back from the beginning, because now we've collapsed this into a grayscale image. If you look at the channels, you see that all you have is a gray channel. This is destructive editing, so you want to be aware that it's there, but you don't necessarily want to use it.